disclaimer this video is not here to discourage or bring anybody down about their style i'm just doing this to educate and just help people style just helpful and educate <laughs> So as you guys can see, I took out my faux locks. I'm back to my real hair. Um, I said I'm going to be natural mommy for this week because my hair appointment is not until Saturday. So yeah, I have it in these like little fake curls. Like I, well, because when I take my, took my hair out, it came out curly. And every night before I go to bed, I like twist it back. And then when I wake up, I loose it out to leave it like curly. But let's get started. I'm going to start with priming my skin. I'm using the e.l.f. blemish control face primer and so yeah let's start so basically we're gonna talk about some little fashion topics fashion news the latest in fashion that I had on my mind and the first thing I had on my mind was I hate when people say don't wear white after Labor Day like <sighs> you don't understand how much I hate that saying like that is one of the things that grind my gears that is one of them i hate when people say that because i if you follow me on social media you can see i love wearing all white i love wearing white pants that's like one of my favorite things to wear no matter what time of the year it is like i don't care and i i remember i had a couple of people telling me oh bria it's after labor day and i'm like so like <laughs> so what like white is not only for summertime is not only and the thing is with that saying don't wear white after Labor Day that means you can only wear white on Labor Day because after Labor Day means that whole year until Labor Day so that saying is just dumb that saying is so dumb I just like the most annoying saying like ever in the world I hate that saying but like next I'm going to cover up my um, acne scars with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Warm Sand. I don't know, people never heard of something called Winter Whites. That is why Winter Whites was something that came out of trends and the fashion industry. <laughs> you can wear white whenever you want. Like, there was no, what's the, what's the restrictions? Yeah, there's no restrictions against wearing white. I just really have to say like I really hate that saying and even people that know me who follow me on social media they always say Bria you love wearing white and I'm like I know like I really do like it just looks so pure so nice it goes with so many things like you can never have enough white I have like literally I think like 13 white bottoms like white pants including like pants shorts skirts like everything I have 13 pair of thir of white bottoms I have like four white t-shirts I just love white I'm gonna buy more because the thing is white gets dirty really quick even if you don't like mess it up on like spilling something on it it just gets dirty because it's such a light color that you need to have more than one piece of white clothing in your closet if you just have one pair of white pants you need to get more more white pants more white tees more white button downs I have like four white, five white button downs, four white tees, like I said. I just, I love white. And I'm, it's a color that will never go out of style for me. Just like black. Black and white will never go out of style. You can never have too much of that in your closet. So, stock up on some white people. Y'all just come through. <laughs> so, now I'm going to put on the foundation. I am using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. This is Actually, the first time I'm gonna be using this foundation I bought it yesterday yes I am behind <laughs> with this foundation but yeah I'm gonna use it now but off to my next topic people that wear too much of the same color and let me reiterate what I'm saying because I know y'all gonna be like um Babria you are like olive green or olive green on burgundy <laughs> so not even like that it's just certain colors that shouldn't be worn too much in one outfit like I've seen people wear like a skirt with like pink stockings with pink heels and pink strappy heels like 
pink strap, I don't just feel like pink strap, I, not even pink, just strappy heels in general should not be worn with stockings. No! Oh. No! Oh. No! Oh. Strappy heels need to be worn without nothing so your toes could be showing, like get them toes done or something if you don't want to show them off, but strappy heels should not be worn with any type of stockings, socks, leggings, like, <laughs> that's, see, I'm moving on to another faux pas. That's, yes, this is what I'm going to call this section of the video. Fashion faux pas. Do not wear strappy heels with stockings. Like, that just looks so tacky to me. And then you're going to wear pink stockings with pink strappy heels. It just, I don't know, like, I don't want to knock anybody's style. This is not what this video is about. It's just certain things that I see and I'm just like, do people really think that looks cute? I mean, like, I'm not saying I'm the best dressed person in the world. I'm definitely not. Like, I'm definitely not. I just, I know how to put my outfits together and I do know how to dress. But I'm not saying I'm the best dressed person in the world. And I'm the last person that should be judging anybody. But... I mean, if I see something, I'm going to say it, and when I see that, I'm just like, no. <laughs> no, like, I know. That being said, it's just certain ways that you should wear colors. Like, yesterday, I wore um, a burgundy fedora with a burgundy skirt. So, see right there? The burgundy and the burgundy go together. Then I had on an olive green sweater with a not really olive green jacket, but like a forest green. Yes, it was an olive green sweater with a forest green parka. So that kind of like contrasted the green on green. And then I wore some brown Chelsea boots. So right there, that was like, that's like the perfect example of doing it the right way. <laughs> not saying, like I said, not saying I'm the best dressed person, but to me that was the right way because you don't want to, like I could have easily wore some burgundy boots, but that's just too much burgundy. I already had the burgundy skirt, the burgundy fedora. I didn't need to wear burgundy. I could have easily wore some green, olive green shoes. That's just too much. You throw it off with the black. So people already think, oh, she would probably wear some burgundy shoes with that. No, you throw them off with some brown and then people look like, okay I see what you did there you just have to find a color that goes with the outfit that would throw people off black would just be a no black shoes with that would just be a no I don't like I said I don't know like, like I did not say yet but I guess in my mind I can see how things will look I don't know how other people see how things will look but it's just certain colors that go together and certain colors that just really don't so I don't know. I mean, if you guys want a video of, like, stuff that go together and stuff that don't go together, like colors, let me know and I can help you guys out, but I love, love doing that. I really, I like this foundation so far. I like the coverage. I like the consistency. Yeah, I like this foundation. I'm definitely going to go and buy some more. I'm that type of person that likes to stock up on stuff so that it, when it finishes, I'll have more and I don't have to rush back to the store and buy another one. So I'll probably go back to Walgreens or Dwayne Weed or Target or one of those places and get like two more just so I can have it. And this color actually looks good on my skin. It was kind of looking iffy in the store, but I actually like it. And my skin color is getting back lighter because you know in the summertime your skin gets darker but now it's becoming winter I mean like fall winter ish and my skin is getting back to its regular skin complexion so yeah I like this like this foundation shout out to Maybelline <laughs> so to let disclaimer this video is not here to discourage or bring anybody down about their style I'm just doing this to educate and just help people style, just helpful and educate and to help people style, improve and get better. I'm not trying to bring anybody down or degrade anybody's style, like that is not what I'm here to do, like 
I would not want to do that to anybody. But I just ha I just I see it and I want to say it so people can improve and get help and yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't want everybody to be like, oh, she's bringing us down and she's telling us, oh, this doesn't look good. <laughs> like, that's not what I'm trying to do. Like, I'm really not. I'm all here for empowerment. and Yeah, I'm all here for empowerment and making people better. So that is what this video is really about. And I just want to help and just help make your style, improve your style. So now I'm going to conceal highlight with the all mend la girl pro concealer and i actually did my eyebrows off of camera if you guys haven't noticed and as well as this um get ready with me chit chat video i'm also going to do a little lookbook outfit of the day part as well and hair part so you guys can see like the full-on look of everything <laughs> so if you guys did not know, one of my favorite shows in the world is America's Next Top Model. I freaking love that show. Like, I love that show. If I was, not even, I'm not really into modeling. I was going to say if I was, a, if I was six inches taller, I would probably try out for that show because I'm only five feet. <laughs> I'm definitely too short. I mean, now, well, now they accept shorter girls, I guess. But sadly, unfortunately, if you did not know, America's Next Top Model has been canceled after 22 cycles. They have decided to cancel Top Model. To be 100% honest, I did not look up the reason why because I really don't care because <laughs> I'm still upset that it is canceled. I'm pretty sure it's because of ratings because that is mostly why shows get canceled the ratings weren't that great so anymore because it did last 22 cycles so obviously the ratings had to be good at some point i was just like heartbroken i found out while i was in one of my classes like like i literally had to take a break from that class and leave because and re recoup myself or regather my thoughts because i was really upset Like, I really could not believe that they really ended it. I just thought it was just one of those shows that I thought will always go on forever. Like, like you know when you, you hear people say, I just thought that celebrity was going to live forever. When you know people really don't live forever. <laughs> but I just thought it was one of those shows that would, like, never end. It would just continue going. Like, Top Model was really one of my favorite shows. You can ask my mother. She's, I could sit and watch the same cycle over and over and over like growing up she would be like do you want to be a model like do you want to go to a model and i was always to be like no i'm not really into the modeling thing but i just love that show like it just had all aspects of modeling fashion i think that was like probably one of the shows that inspired me to get into the fashion world because i mean i am i do i have i will be working with models so that, I think Tom Model definitely inspired me. Um, I love Tyra Banks. She's beautiful. I think she's like such an inspiration for African American women. Women in general. She's just the cat's meow. Like she's really the shit. I love her. And that show was just like, it was just really entertaining and real inspiring. I watched Tom Model literally every cycle except 17. And I think that was the cheerleader one when they did like the the yeah it was just a dumb season I, yeah it was it was no it was actually two seasons i didn't watch i think it was 16 and 17 or 17 and, 16 and 17 it was the cheerleader one and the when they did like the mascots like high school version and the british invasion i did not watch those are the two cycles i didn't watch because i just thought those were dumb i don't know i thought those were dumb and then I picked back up, I think it was cycle 18, was when they had the all-star one and freaking Lisa one. Like, I still can't believe Lisa won. If you watch Tom Model, you know who Lisa is. And I know you was like, really Tyra? Really, Lisa? Of, out of all the models she brought back, she picked Lisa to win. The bitch that walked around in a freaking diaper 
at the well the photo shoot she had to wear a diaper but then she peed in the diaper like girl like she was top America's Next Top Model like I could have been America's Next Top Model for all of that <laughs> I'm not even gonna talk bad because then I did hear that after the show ended she had like had some um it was some mental ish illness I don't remember right now and I don't want to like get it wrong and just guess but it was like a mental illness that she was going through so I do feel kind of bad but I still think she should have known regardless but also top model just had like it had like I don't know if you remember my last year, one of my last year videos when I first started Bria's Closet, I said one of the top model contestants, Mariana, she was actually killed and I still think about that till this day because she was so young. She was only 19 when she died and I'm like, I just saw her career going way further and to see that she really died and she got, not even died, she got killed and shot in the head like... For no reason because she was just messing with the wrong guy and he was in like the drug dealing world and she answered the door she answered the door she just actually yeah she just moved in with him she answered the door and she was the first person to get shot because she answered the door it was just i still can't believe it till this day like that i woke up and that was just a sad story and then me and her had the same birthday july 27th she was a leo i mean i'm older than her but it was just like damn somebody that I saw like literally when I see people that in that light I always say oh I want to work with them like I would have loved to work with her like I see myself working with so many people in the industry Beyonce Rihanna Molly Cyrus Zendaya like just to name a few but Tom Model is just one of those shows that I like I said before I thought was gonna go on forever cycle 22 this is the final cycle it is still going on I have to admit that I have to catch up on some episodes on Hulu because I you know when I have a DVR when you don't record one episode is like you missed all so I just stopped recording them and I was just like I'm just gonna catch up on Hulu and then continue recording when I catch up and I have yet to catch up because I've just been so busy but I'm right now I'm actually catching up on Jane the Virgin because I also record that on DVR and then I lost track so I need to catch up on Jane the Virgin first and then I'm gonna catch up on Top Model but R.I.P. to Top Model not really rest in peace because Top Model will never die to me that will always be I think Top Model is like my favorite show of all time if I have to name a favorite show Top Model would be that one because that's like the one show that I watch over and over and over the same episodes and it never gets boring but so next I'm going to prime my eyelids so I can use eyeshadow so because you're supposed to let the eye shadow primer sit for a little bit so I'm just going to prime it now and I usually take my finger take it off of the wand thing and just use my finger to prime my eyelids but the next thing I want to talk about is this new show that actually starts tomorrow you guys know what Project Runway is, but so there's going to be a Project Runway Junior where 13 to 17 year olds compete against each other. As usual, you know, Project Runway, they, every week they design an outfit, a look, or a couple looks for the celebrity guests. And two of the celebrity guests that will be appearing this season, one I'm really excited about, so that's why I think I'm going to actually watch this season is Michelle Obama like Michelle Obama is gonna be on and she's really one of my inspirations like I really love her so I'm definitely think I'm gonna watch this season or watch her episode cuz people would be shocked they always shocked they're like you don't watch Project Runway I have never watched a Project Runway episode ever like I've watched a Project Runway part like a part of an episode because people was like oh Bria you need to see this part so I've watched that but I've never watched a Project Runway full episode a full season nothing so I think I mean I'll probably just watch that episode with Michelle Obama because I think that's so amazing that they have her on their show um, next I'm going to powder what I just highlighted with the concealer but yeah so if you guys are interested in project runway junior it starts tomorrow november 13 i said 13 november 12th by the time this video was up it will already be 
on because today is Wednesday and it starts tomorrow so it will be on usual it comes on on live time so check your local listings second guess I didn't even say the second guess that was supposed to that's gonna be on is Bella Thorne who was on the show shake it up with Zendaya she's gonna be another guest so that is the two confirmed guests so far I'm just I'm definitely excited about Michelle Obama um, next I'm going to bronze which with my bronzer I actually use as a contour so it's like contour bronze <laughs> but the next thing I want to talk about is the ball mod collection with H&M that actually came out last Thursday November 5th and yes I was out there I was very I didn't I wasn't sure if I was gonna be out there I'm surprised that I wasn't even out there cuz I was very iffy if I wanted to wake up and get ready and be out there early in the morning. Luckily, Thursdays, I don't have class until 4 in the afternoon. So, I had the ability to get up because I didn't have to wake up for class. And everybody was like, oh, Bri, I know you're going to be out there. I know. I'm like, I don't know yet. They were like, what? I can see you in so many of the pieces. That's so shocking that you're not going to be out there. I was like, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to order stuff online. I don't know who I was kidding because <laughs> obviously everything was sold out. As usual, the collaborations that H&M does with these designers are always sold out. They're never online. And I was supposed to go out with one of my friends, Wendell, like literally 1 o'clock in the morning. We said we're going to meet up. I was like, boy, I am tired. I'm not going. I am I changed my mind. I'm not going anymore. I literally woke up that morning, 7.30 a.m., just jumped out of my bed and was like, I'm going. <laughs> like, I just, I knew. First of all, it was a sign that I woke up that early. And... I was like, yeah, I'm going. So I called Wendell and I was like, no, we have to go, we have to go. Got up, got ready. I never got ready so quick in my life. Never got in ready so quick in my life. Like, I got ready so fast. I headed out to the train. The train was really moving so smoothly, which I was so shocked because anytime I'm already late for something, the train never cooperates with me. It always goes the opposite way. So for this time, it actually went really, really fast. So I'm going to use um, another LA Girl Pro Concealer, the color Beautiful Bronze to contour my nose. But yeah, I, like I said, I was just happy that the train moved. People were camping out there literally from 7 o'clock the day before, the afternoon before that. So I was just like, yeah, I'm not getting nothing. I, I mean, like, I was trying to be positive, but the fact that people were really out there, like, days before was crazy, because the line was not that crazy last year with the Alexander Wang one. I was out there earlier than that, and the lines wasn't even that crazy, so, for this one. But I finally got out there. I got out there, like, around... 9 30 ish and i got a spot in line i got my little wrist band thing got in i didn't get to get the pieces that i wanted the two pieces i really wanted was the piece that kendall jenner was wearing and i wanted the guy sweater the guys had like this hoodie i really wanted that was the two piece and a t-shirt the three things yeah that was the three pieces i wanted the kendall jenner blazer that she was wearing the men's sweater hoodie and a t-shirt. I got one thing that I wanted, which was the t-shirt. I got a t-shirt and I ended up getting this black and white stripe sweater. And I really, I mean, I, I like the pieces. If you guys did not see, if you guys did not see my lookbook for that, like my little impromptu quick lookbook <laughs> on my YouTube channel, definitely check it out. I'm gonna put the card thing up there so you just have to click on it and you can check that out. But yeah the there was a freaking fight i think it was baltimore there was a fight that broke out in h m in baltimore where people were throwing each other and grabbing and pulling clothes out there each other's hand it was crazy if i can i will find the video and put it here so you guys can see the craziness that was going on like it's never that serious for clothes like i love clothes but i would not be fighting anybody for clothes this is why i do not go out on black friday i stay home because why am i fighting over something that i 
like if I don't get it I don't get it if I get it I get it I'm not fighting over anything and this is why I don't go out on Black Friday because I can just get that on a regular day like yes it's a sale but it's not that serious to be fighting over anything it's never that serious to mess up your mug for <laughs> no 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 but the overall experience was cool I like the two pieces that I got I did a lookbook for it I wish I got the other two pieces that I really, really wanted. Of course, now I was on eBay for like thousands of dollars, which I'm not paying for. Like, why would I pay for something that was 200 and now it's a thousand, or something that was fifty dollars and now it's five hundred? No, 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 no bueno. But <laughs> overall, it was good. I definitely love the Alexander Wang pieces way more than the Balmain pieces. Like, if they brought back the Alexander Wang pieces tomorrow, I will be out there shopping. Like, I really, in my mind, I want them to do a redo, a recall, a revision, a re-everything. I want them to bring back all those pieces so I can buy some more pieces. Because I'm still regretting that I did not buy the gray sweater to the black one that I had. Like, I'm still mad at myself. I might buy, I might buy that one on eBay. Cause that's I saw that one for 150. I wouldn't mind paying 150 for that that crop scuba sweater. I think I would purchase that. But on the line, I met some really dope people, really cool, and we were all wondering what's gonna be the next collaboration for next year. I have no idea. They've done so many collabs that I really don't know what they're gonna do next. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do is eyeshadow, and I'm using my Elf eyeshadow. Palette. And the next thing I want to talk about is um Fashion Police. I have not talked about Fashion Police in forever. Well, let me see what colors am I gonna use? I think I'm gonna do like a orangey smoky eye. Ready prime. So I'm gonna use this light champagne color first. And then I'm gonna do a little black and then I'm gonna do a little orange. I'm just going with the flow. Like I have no set thing in mind. But yeah, <laughs> let's talk about fashion police so fashion police i don't even know if it's ended right now but it was definitely on like a couple months ago and i don't know what happened like literally it came back and i can't even lie the comeback was like really good like of course i mean i said i wasn't gonna watch it but i ended up watching it because i just love that show so much i had to give it a chance of course it was not the same. It's never going to be the same without John Rivers. Like, that's what I was saying last year, that they should just cancel it. Because John Rivers was Fashion Police. But the new season that came back was actually really good. They had Michelle Rivers. Michelle Rivers. Who's Michelle Rivers? Melissa Rivers. John Rivers' daughter came on on the show. And they brought back Brad Goreski and Juliana Rancic. As you know, Kathy Griffin left, Kelly Osborne left, so those three were still there, well, those two were still there, Brad and Juliana. Melissa came on, which I thought she should have came on since her mother died, like, Melissa should have been, came on a long, 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 long time ago, and every week they would bring two guests. So the first week, it was Nene and Margaret Cho, she's a comedian, Nene Leakes and Margaret Cho, who's a comedian, and every week they would bring two guests, which I loved. I thought it was really a great idea because we got like a fresh, fresh, fresh ideas, fresh a mindset on the looks and fashion, and just not Melissa, Brad, and Juliana every week are just two new people. It was just, I loved it. And it was just, when Nene came on, it was like the best. I freaking love Nene Leek. She is freaking hilarious. Like, Nene is jokes for days. I miss her on um, Real House of the Atlanta, like, so much. The show is not the same without her. So, I did not like how the eyeshadow looked, so I'm doing it all over again. Like, literally, off camera, I did it, like, on last Monday, and it looked really good. I just... I don't like it so I'm just gonna do the champagne color and leave it alone because I really did not like how it looked on camera today like I didn't like it but after that I'm going to I'm just letting the primer sit again for a little bit because I just wiped everything off did that over and then I put the primer on 
Okay, so I finally got the eyeshadow together. I did the champagne color, and then I put like a little hint of orange in the crease, if you can see. And then I put like a little bit, like a trailing of the champagne underneath my eyes, and I forgot the tint of the highlighter. I like to put the highlighter in the crease. So... And next I'm going to do some mascara. Yeah, I don't even remember where I left off with that fashion police story because I was just worried about <laughs> my eyeshadow. But yeah, after they showed those couple of episodes, literally it never showed back. And so, yeah. But now I'm going to move on to... I have... What was the last thing? Oh yeah, I want to talk about my experience at my first BeautyCon. If you did not know, BeautyCon New York City was October 17th and I was lucky enough to go. Tickets, well the general admission tickets were only $30, $29.99. And I went with my sis Jay, one of my closest friends. We went to BeautyCon and it was just an amazing experience. I had an amazing time. Let me finish my makeup while I talk. And um, I'm using the Maybelline um, Volume Express mascara. But yeah, it was just an amazing time, like from start to finish. So, Audio Jungle. my outfit of the night lookbook a little quick outfit of the day lookbook part so yeah hope you guys enjoyed thank you again for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video thank you. <laughs>